Creators, this is Soro. In this video, we will learn how to create Call Me Home game using MIT App Inventor. We will use your one sensor also. Okay, so let me show you the demo of this game first. Then we will create this game. So you can see that's our game. Okay, for the screen. Okay, so you can see in the top right. Okay, top right side ball, and you can see the green lines. Okay, and the in the left side bottom is home. Okay, so this home is calling to this ball, suppose. So we have to, what we need to do, we have to use sensor because we are using a sensor to move this ball. Okay, if I just still my mobile in the left, so this wall move like this. And this ball should be reached in this home. Okay, without touching all these green lines. Okay, so make sure you don't touch these green lines. So let me just play this game like this okay like if this ball touch this uh, uh, green line then ball automatically goes to zero zero position in the it means in the top position like this so this game need a lot of concentration okay like this oh uh, but that's our own game so why this game is called me home so now how we can win this game it's easy okay so how we can do that in the left side you find that home okay you just need to click on that home just one time click it means we have opened our all doors all these are supposed door okay so no one can enter in this house okay so now just play this game again all doors are open all green lines are open you can reach your home very easily so here we go so we are using your MIT App Inventor. Okay, so click on start new project and my project name is call me home. And then, okay, now that's our first screen. Okay, you can use your, uh, you can create your start screen also. You can create a lot more screen, but I will fo mainly focus on the concept of this game. Okay, and we will design this game. So what I will do here, I'm going to drag and drop one layout here and that is vertical arrangement like this and make this with an hide as fill parent okay and then we need to drag and drop here one canvas so in the left side drawing an animation click on drag and drop canvas and make this with an hide as fill parent like this now we need to change that canvas background color so i will choose the background color to black okay so just like black like this now I need some image spreads so what I will do just drag and drop this one image spread and we need one simple line image okay so what I will do I already have one image if you don't have image so what you can do you can open your MS Paint if you are using windows okay and then just drag and drop one like a rectangle and just save this image and upload here and I'm using your MacBook so what I will do here I'm going to just take a screenshot okay like this in the white and then open this and just drag and drop your one like that that you have to do in a paint ms paint if you are using windows if you are using mac then you can do it like this and then just done to create your image so click on that image split then picture option upload file and then choose file and uh, select this image like this one now we need to just drag and drop this image like here and we need to just copy and paste okay just copy ctrl c and ctrl v and we need to just arrange all these images like this okay okay like this now i'm going to use here one home okay so whenever someone reach your home it means the ball reached the home then we will make it as a winner okay so i'm going to use here one more image split now you can see there's no space okay so what i will do i'm going to use change that font size to the tablet so tablet and then i'm going to use here that image spread like this and i already have one image spread so you can use any home image spread you can just search on the google and find it now click on upload file choose file this one open okay and make this uh, image spread height and width is pixel is around 100 into 100 width is also 100 like this okay so now we need to drag and drop one ball here so i'm going to make this one size to font size 
okay and then drag and drop this ball here and we need to change that band uh, sorry the color is band color to something orange yeah orange and then we will make this radius at least 10 okay like this okay now we need your one sensor so click on sensors and you will find your this, this one the uh, orientation sensor so if i tilt my mobile in the left then this ball move in the left side okay so this ball move according to that sensor according to our movement of our mobile phone okay now we this ball should be reached in that home okay uh you can see this one home right here right so how we can do that so we need to use your some coding okay that's the overall design okay you can design according to your requirement okay so now let's go to the block so whenever we start the game so first we need to use orientation so whenever orientation is changed okay then we have to uh, move our ball so click on ball and you'll find your ball dot move x y this one okay now we have to call your this orientation change value so for that we will simply simply call here one thing is this click on maths okay and we need to call here plus plus module this one like this call it here okay and we need to add here the get the ball dot x value okay so click on this ball and ball dot x value is this one drag and drop this okay in that x value we have to add roll value so we have to uh, actually that's the formula okay so uh, for that we need to divide this value so click on maths and you will see the divide is divide this one here okay and then okay that, that's the divided but in that dividation we need one more thing is into click on maths and that's the into what okay now we need to into minus one value okay so minus one value this one minus one make it like this okay and then uh, this one minus one and we have to into this minus one value to orientation sensor dot roll okay so click on that sensor option and you'll find roll this one roll and drag and drop it here okay like this now we need to divide that value uh, by two so just copy paste this value from here and then just divide by two like this okay now we need to just copy and paste this whole value from here and then we need to just change ball dot x to y okay and then we need one more thing is this should be this should be a pitch not a roll okay in the second like this and everything is as it is to move our ball according to our uh, font movement okay simple now our ball is moving okay that's the code for moving now whenever ball or ball collide with any green line it means that green line that means image split then we have to move our ball in the top or you can say in that position okay so how we can do that go to the block so whenever ball dot collide click on ball and you can see the ball dot collide this one ball one dot collide with okay so we have to check first we need to check the image if the value is image split uh, this one all these and suppose we need to code for uh, this one also it means which one this home for okay so if the image is split not five okay if not five then we will make this mo ball move we have to move this ball in that position if this is the uh, image split five whenever the ball collide with image split five then our uh, guys win this game okay so we have to code according to that go to the blog so if so go to the control if first condition here and then we have to check so we will use a logic simple equal logic like that if the image split 5 i think this one is home yes 5 so image split 5 dot 5 this one is equal to other this one okay then we have to make our game is a game uh, you you win the game okay so we have to do all that thing here so what i will do here i'm going to hide that overall virtual arrangement visible of 
okay false and i need to draw another arrangement so go to the design and uh, make it font font size make it to visible off okay and i can draw one more layout here simple layout like this vertical arrangement and make this with the height is fill parent like this and we need to just use here one label like this label and one button okay like this in that label like uh, you this game or you can say winner something winner or in that button you just say simply restart okay so now you have to design both things so click on vertical arrangement to make it center make it the center make it some space between this and remove that text value from label and make this height is at least 10 percent like this click on this winner and change this text color to something orange okay and change this word arrangement color to something dark like you can tell and we can make this one orange to white it will look more good and make it font size at least 20 or you can make it 50 and then click on that button restart button and make this background color to orange make it font bold make it font size is 18 like this and uh, click on this is the restart button okay and this is fine now we need to hide this one okay and we need to make this one enable this one now we need to enable this block so which one just copy paste this one like this here and make this one vertical arrangement 2 should be true like this okay now if that ball is not collide with the or home then we need to move that ball okay so for that what we do we will use one more uh, you know one more flag but before that we need to let me just show you uh, one more, more thing here we need to code for let me just do one thing here we just need to if that is not a ball then we will move so we just need to click on that ball it means here in the canvas and then the ball is ball dot move okay that one okay if then else we will use the else part like this okay and then we will move all that ball to the zero zero okay or you can say the top position you can move it anywhere in the top zero zero i will move it zero zero now or you can make it in a 2020 no 1010 is fine 1010 is fine right now we need to use one uh one more thing here so whenever someone click on that restart button okay so so on that restart button it means that one button one okay we need to we need to move our ball in that position okay and then we need to just simply hide uh, okay enable this one make it true and we need to just make this false to false word arrangement two two should be false like this okay now that's for the restart button code now whenever someone touch that or home it means whenever someone touch that image spread five it means here you can see touch down touch touched this one then we will open our all doors for that ball okay so for that we need to create one flag so you can see the variable and initialize variable this one okay and we need to initialize this variable to something flag okay and that flag value is make it true just type here true like this okay this true okay now whenever we touch that image with then we will make our global flag set value global flag value should be false okay like this right now now what we can do here whenever whenever we need to use here one more condition here then we will use one more if else condition here and we need to remove this else we will move that else here this one here and we will remove that else from here right and if the set value okay so use this one and remove this okay if the get flag if the get flag value okay if the value is equal 
to troop. Okay, then we will move our ball to 10 turn. But if the value is not true, it means we have touched that ball, it means the value is false, then this will not move. Ball will not move and then ball will reach that home. Right? And then if the ball is reached the home, okay, it means is uh, equal to other image certified, then we will make the image winner, the person is a uh, winner. Okay, so that's the overall code. Simple. Okay, nothing here. So this very small code for this simple game, but like this right but that is overall amazing game okay so if you have some doubt in this game you can ask me on comment and if you have some suggestion for this game so just comment on the video so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye